So for my subject slash career, I chose coffee shop and bakery owning. Baking is something that I grew up with. My grandma did a lot and I always really loved to do it. And as I grew older and I started to love coffee more, I decided that I really wanted to put those two things together and up, open up my own place. I just really love the atmosphere and I love baking and I love coffee and I love working with people. And I know it's gonna be a lot of hard work, but I know that it's something that I really wanna do. So for my first experience, I chose working at a dance studio. I've assisted there for the past four years. And while there, I teach the kids to dance, I manage the books, I do receipts, I manage things with money and things like that. And throughout these years, I've gotten to talk to I've gotten to talk to Barb, the person that I work for, a lot about how she started, some of the trials she's faced, and different things like that. And taking away what I took away from this is a lot of do's and don'ts of business. And I think it helped set like a foundation of what's going to happen when I do open up my own place. And I think that'll be really beneficial. So for the second experience, I chose my class career art and waves of pride. So in career art, I had to work very, very hard to meet deadlines while still putting forth things that I'm proud of and doing my best work while doing it on a small amount of time. Um, it really tested my work ethic and my um, dedication to things that I uh, things that I like to do, and I think it really helped those things and will help me in the future for when I open up my own place. It'll really help my work ethic and things like that to get things done. For my third experience, I interviewed someone who is in a similar line of work, who like has a place similar to one that I would like to open myself. So I interviewed Rob, who owns the coffee pot, and it was so much fun. I got to ask him, I had about 15 questions that I got to ask him, and they were, were things that like I was worried about, things I didn't know quite how functioned, or just things that I was purely just curious about. And he answered all of my questions in full, in depth, and I was never left wondering something. Like he answered everything that I needed to know, and I truly feel so much more confident going into this because of all the information that he gave me like uh, how money things like how the bank loan and things like that and i think he really helped prepare me for what i was getting myself into so for my fourth experience i chose to job shadow somewhere similar to what i wanted to open so i was fortunate enough to get a job shadow at the coffee pot with rob again and I was there for about four hours. And that is one of my, the favorite things that I've ever done in my life. When I got there, everyone was so nice and welcoming and I got a free drink, which was awesome. And he really taught me a lot that day. He showed me how to make some different drinks and the components of different drinks and how he like just piles things on top of them. And I also got to work with his manager, Chelsea, which was a lot of fun. I helped her and watched her while she did inventory. And she showed me how she orders, like, their syrups and their coffee and different things like that with, like, the websites that she uses. So that was so helpful and so interesting. And I really, while being there, I felt so at home and so at peace that I knew that I knew then that this is definitely what I was meant to do with my life. And this is something that I know is going to be so much work, blood, sweat, tears, everything, but it's all going to be worth it in the end. So for my visual element, I created a mock menu. This is the logo that I would like to use. I want my place to be called the writer's block and it's going to be a fine arts themed bean and bake coffee shop slash bakery and on the back I have different information and ideas that I have about it because I have a lot of ideas and I am very very excited to begin.